On June 19th of 2022, Randy Cox was pulled over and subsequently arrested. While in transport, he was paralyzed. The officers did not immediately call for medical, even at the jail, where they mocked and berated him. Let's see what the latest update is in this case. You ever get the feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up? And now to some breaking news out of Connecticut. Five police officers have been charged after a black man was paralyzed inside their police van. CBS 2's Christina Fan here now with the very latest. Christina. Well, Maurice and Christine, those officers face misdemeanors for not properly securing 36-year-old Randy Cox in the back of a transport van back in June. Investigators say that's not all. The officers also refused to provide medical aid as he cried for help. Their actions left Cox paralyzed from the chest down. These are the five New Haven police officers charged with second-degree reckless endangerment and cruelty to persons and the arrest of Randy Cox. New Haven's mayor and police chief today reacting to the state's attorney's decision. I want to reiterate what happened to Randy uh, was unacceptable, and we want to do everything possible to ensure that this never happens again. Police were driving Cox to a New Haven police station June 19th to process him on a weapons charge. <laughs> Authorities say the officer driving was speeding and braked hard to avoid a collision. Cox flew headfirst into the wall of the van, which did not have a seatbelt. I can't hear you. Despite Cox's repeated cries, officers accused him of being drunk and faking his injuries. Move your leg. Sit up. Why are you listening, bro? Sit up. I can't move. You're not even trying. They dragged him by his feet from the van and placed him in a holding cell. As I've said from day one, the city of New Haven is committed to accountability for all individuals involved in this tragic incident. And today's announcement by the state's attorney is a significant step in that process. Back in September, Cox's legal team also announced a civil lawsuit against the city. The mayor says changes were implemented at the police department, ensuring arrestees are properly belted in. And the officers turned themselves in at a state police barracks Monday. Each was processed and posted a $25,000 bond. They are due back in court December 8th. In the newsroom, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.